Welcome. I am Bree, Director of Psychosocial Services at Abramson Senior Care. Thank you for joining us today for our first virtual service of remembrance. Every year we offer a service of remembrance so we can join together to grieve the ones we lost. Until this year, this meant physically coming together in our synagogue here at Abramson Center for Jewish Life for the opportunity to mourn and reflect on the grief. We understand having the opportunity to honor your loved one is essential and we thank you for joining us today for our first virtual service of remembrance. And now I would like to welcome Abramson Hospice's bereavement coordinator, Samantha Johns. Thank you, Bree. Although we are unable to physically join together this year, the Abramson team understands the importance of continuing to hold our annual memorial service to so many of our friends, families, and staff. A service of remembrance provides the opportunity to acknowledge our grief and to support each other as we mourn. While this may not be the traditional way in which we join together, our love for those who have passed unites us in spirit. Thank you for joining us today. Whether you're in the greater Philadelphia area or somewhere further away, we are so glad that you are here. And now I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the wholehearted grief being felt worldwide as a result of the vast number of deaths related to COVID-19. We grieve for all the ways in which this pandemic has altered our way of life. From being unable to hold a dying loved one's hand to preventing us from physically joining together while we mourn. Please join me for a moment of silence as we honor the lives of the men, women, and children who are victims of this pandemic and acknowledge the strain that it has taken on our loved ones, ourselves, and our grief. Although we are apart, it's moments like this that join us together in spirit. And now, please join us in Jesse Abel's rendition of Hallelujah. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Rabbi Mimi from Abramson Hospice and I'm going to share with you the 23rd Psalm. First I'm going to sing it in Hebrew and then I'll ask you to recite it with me in the English. Mizmor le David Adonai roi lo exar Bino Yar bitzeni al me menu chot yinachaleni Nafshi yeshoveiv Nafshi yeshoveiv Yan cheni 
join me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hello, my name is Tina, nurse case manager with Abramson Hospice. Tonight we'll be lighting a candle to honor our loved ones who have passed. If you have a candle you'll be lighting at home, please make sure it is accessible at this time. The flame of the candle is a symbol of our grief, our courage, our memories, and our love for those who have passed. The light of the candle represents the pain of our loss, which is intense, yet it reminds us of the depth of our love. The flame is a symbol of the light of our love, and reminds us of the many ways in which our loved one brightened our lives. We give thanks for the gift they brought to each of us. Join me by lighting your candle and saying your loved one's name out loud. I light this candle in honor of our loved ones. Please keep your candle lit as we begin our slideshow reflecting the beloved patients that Abramson team has had the privilege of caring for in the last year. Thank you for joining us and honoring those we have lost. 
Good afternoon. My name is Father Ivo Voig. I'm the chaplain with Abramson Senior Care, and I'm happy to be the part of this service. We thank God for the power of memory. This is the gift which makes it possible for us to link the past with the present and be confident about our future. We remember and we are hopeful now because of our memories. I'm pretty sure that many of us have watched the sunset and remained until it got dark. When the sun sets, it fills the world with golden light. In the meantime, the moon is high in the sky, but it lights so weak and pale that you have to look very carefully to see it. It doesn't appear to be contributing anything whatsoever to the, to the earth. As the, as the sun goes down, it appears to take the whole world with it. As it goes down, however, a curious and beautiful thing begins to happen. The lower the sun dips in the sky, the brighter the moon becomes, so that by the time the sun has finally departed the scene, the moon has undergone a complete transformation. It is now by far the brightest object in the sky. And as you look around, you notice to your surprise and delight that the old world has not only been completely restored to you, but it actually has been made new, bright and exciting. When our family and friends who have meant a lot to us die, it is as if the sun has gone down on our life. Everything seems to vanish with their passing. We are plunged into the gloom and experience a terrible feeling of emptiness. We miss our loved one as much as we miss the light. The void seems to get even greater as time gradually brings home to us just how much we have lost. But our faith assures us that all is not lost. We are not in total darkness. A new light shines on us, or rather the old light under a new form. Just as the sun, though it has departed the earthly scene, is still able to reflect its light on the earth, so our loved ones, though out of sight, not vanished into darkness. They still live, now enjoying the light of eternity. They are able to reflect some of this light on us. They are still shining on us, still influencing us. Death is not absence. It is a new kind of presence. All our loved ones who die leave us a parting gift, a gift of their spirit. And this spirit comforts us and maintains the link between them and us. We remember our loved ones because we love them. Death may take them out of sight, but it does not take them out of mind and out of heart. We continue to love them and think of them as we believe they continue to love us and think of us. We remember and we know that they are not far away from us. As the saying goes, they are just a prayer away from us. So may they rest in peace and may their memory be a blessing.
you enjoyed our first virtual service of remembrance. Thank you to the Abramson team for making this possible and to our community for joining us today. And remember, although grief is a price we pay for love, as Helen Keller so wisely reflected, what we once enjoyed and deeply loved, we can never lose. For all that we love deeply becomes a part of us. I wish you all a blessed night.